Um, and we're doing a lot of this from the floor. So it's mainly a seated practice. There will be some hands and knees as well. And if that's not accessible to you, I'll just give you some gentle modifications as well. So if you can and you're happy to sit up nice and tall, we're going to ground our sit bones into the mat or to the seat. You can bring your hands and you can rest them gently on your knees. And we're just going to close gently into the eyes to let no light come in, no distractions and draw all our attention to our heart space. And we usually start yoga practice with a bit of breath work. So we're gonna draw our attention into our breath and we're gonna bring in some lovely deep inhales, deep belly breaths we call them. So we're drawing all the breath in, not just to half fill the lungs, but so you can visibly see or feel your belly rising and falling. So if it helps, you can bring your hands to your tummy and you can just gently settle in the body and allow your breath to soften. This might be the first moment of the day that you've managed to have a bit of relaxation, so that's quite nice. So we're gonna breathe in through the nose and we're gonna to count to the count of four. We're gonna try and slow the breath down. So filling the belly with the breath all the way down, deep belly breaths, counting slowly to four. And at the bottom of your breath, your full lung capacity, I'd like you to try and hold the breath and also count to four. So obviously we've all got different breathing techniques and different breathing abilities, and some will be shorter and shallower, but you just go with your count, what's accessible to you. And then your exhale is gonna be really long to the count of six through the mouth. So in your own time, let's just settle into the body, into the breath, drawing in those inhales and counting in your mind to four holding at the bottom of the breath for four. And that lovely long, slow exhale, make that a little bit longer and count to six. We'll just do a few rounds of these so that you can really settle into the body. I don't know if you know, but your breath is connected to your nervous system. So as you allow your breath to slow, your mind will follow and your the levels of anxiety or any feelings of stress in the body just has that little break. So it's really good to focus in on the breath to begin your practice. And while we're in this state of relaxation and breath work at the beginning of class, it's a really nice opportunity to set an intention for the next half an hour. So why are you here today? What's brought you to this class? How do you wanna feel in your body and your mind? What made you join today? Are you trying to increase your health, your mental health? Do you just want to feel good? Do you want a good stretch? And just think what that intention will be for you. And slowly release the hands wherever they've been resting. And I'd like you just to place them on the floor or to the sides of you. You can open up the eyes and just lift your gaze gently forwards. And we're going to raise the right hand to 12 o'clock above us. And this is what I'm going to take a nice side twist. So the left hand is resting on the floor to the side of you. Your right hand is at 12 o'clock up above. I want you to bend gently into your left elbow as you take your whole weight of your body and that right hand over to about nine o'clock. So you're reaching to the side and you should feel a nice stretch coming all the way through the right hand side of the body. Go to where it feels comfortable for you. If it's too much, just ease out a little bit, just come back out. Or if you feel that you can go a little deeper, do that on your exhale. So if you feel you can stretch a little further to the side, let's do that on your exhale. So you're breathing out and stretching. And we're just gonna count for four here. Find that breath, make it really long and steady. And then coming back up to center, you can drop that right hand to the side of you. We're gonna reach up the left hand now to 12 o'clock. Again, bending into the elbow on the right hand side, giving you space to move that left arm over to the side of you. So you're reaching now over to the right hand side. So it's the left hand side of the rib cage, all three obliques, your waist muscles. I should be feeling that little stretch on the side body. Again, if you feel you can go a little deeper into the stretch, do that on your exhale. 
sinking a little lower towards the floor. But again, if it's too much, just gently come out. Finding those long, deep, steady breaths. And then coming up to center. And then bringing both hands to the floor, we're gonna take a twisted seat here. So take your right hand and place it on top of your left knee. Then your left hand is gonna sweep back round behind you and just place itself just behind your tailbone on the floor or the seat. And we're gonna take a twist to the left hand side. So using your right arm to help you push yourself into the pose, we're gonna take our gaze over our left shoulder and start twisting our entire torso to the left hand side. Again, we'll take this nice deep breaths. And if you feel you can twist a little further into the pose, do so on your exhale. So sort of picture yourself wringing out a tea towel. So you're wringing out, twisting the body from the waist and all through the ribs. Try and keep yourself up nice and tall as you twist. So you're twisting from the waist. One more breath. And then coming back to center. Taking your left hand now, place it on top of your right knee. Sweep your right hand behind you. Just place it neatly behind you around about where your tailbone is. And then we're gonna gently take our gaze over our right shoulder, using that left arm to help us twist into the pose. Keeping up nice and tall, keep your sit bones grounded on the floor. Find those deep belly breaths. It's a bit more difficult when you're twisting, but it's really good to breathe as deeply into your lungs and your belly breath as you can. And maybe as you soften up, you can just twist a little further on your exhale. Coming back to center, we're gonna take both arms up to 12 o'clock now. So both arms are up ahead and you can lift your gaze up towards the sky. Take a really deep inhale. And on your exhale, face your palms forward and you're gonna fold over your knees. So you're bringing your head down towards your knees, your palms are coming down and just folding forwards over yourself as far as you feel comfortable. Make sure your sit bones stay where they are. If they start lifting up off the floor or the chair, then ease back gently. We're trying to get a stretch all through the back body and through the ribs here. Let the neck relax. And just take a few breaths here in your forward fold. Slowly rising up, coming back up to your seated positioning. We're just gonna stretch a little bit through the neck. Maybe you carry all your tension in the neck. So raise your right hand up at 12 o'clock. Bend it at the elbow and I want you to cup your left ear. And then you're gently gonna pull your head, your, your right ear towards your right shoulder. So you should feel a nice stretch all the way down the left-hand side of the neck. Don't pull it any further than it feels. Pulling down towards the shoulder. And then coming up to centre, we're going to take that on the other side. So the left hand is going up to 12 o'clock. You're going to bend out the elbow and bring it to cup your right ear. And bring your left ear down towards your left shoulder. To be getting a nice stretch on the right hand side. And then coming back up to center. Take both your arms out directly in front of you at shoulder height. So your palms are facing each other and then draw them to touch and then draw that palm down towards your heart. So you have a nice prayer shape in front of your heart. Your elbows are bent and your elbows are sticking out sideways. Then draw that prayer up so your fingers are pointing up towards the bottom of your chin. You can even bring your fingers to touch your chin if you like. Drop the head down as if you're saying a prayer. And we're just going to take a few breaths in this position. Drawing all the attention to the breath. I can hear someone, there's like office noise. Can somebody mute? It's a bit distracting. And then we're going to come onto our hands and knees, if that's accessible to you. If you are in your chair, then I'll give you modifications. But we're going to take a cat-cow position here. 
So you want to come up onto your hands and knees and your wrists are directly underneath your elbows and your elbows are directly underneath your shoulders and your knees are hip width apart. So you're in a table position here. And we're gonna drop the belly down towards the floor as we slightly lift our gaze upward and that's on your inhale. On your exhale, you're gonna turn your chin and tuck your chin towards your chest as you arch your spine up towards the ceiling. So picture yourself drawing your navel up to the back of the spine. And then on an inhale, you're gonna drop that belly and you're gonna lift your gaze. The same applies if you're seated, you're gonna be doing the same thing. You're lifting the belly forward and as you lift up your gaze and then you tuck your chin in and you draw your spine to the back of the chair. Same applies. You're just gonna bring some movement all through the spine, waking up all the little vertebrae. The inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze. Exhale, tuck the chin and arch your spine all the way up to the ceiling. Inhale, drop that belly, lift the gaze. And exhale, tuck the chin and take the spine up towards the ceiling. And then return to a neutral position. So you're coming back to that tabletop position. Everything's stacked nicely underneath itself, so you're nice and stable. And we're gonna take what we call thread the needle in yoga here. It will require a little bit of balance and concentration, but just try your best, and if not, then just come back to the tabletop. So keep your left hand exactly where it is, your knees in exactly the same position. But I want you to raise up your right hand off the mat. So you're on three positions, your left hand and your two back knees. And your right hand is going to thread itself underneath your left elbow. So thread it out towards the right hand, so the left hand side, so your shoulder comes all the way down to the mat. And you've threaded your right arm underneath your left armpit. So you've threaded it like a bit of thread through a needle there. And then if you want to, you can lift the left hand up towards 12 o'clock, which just gives you a little bit more of an extra stretch. Or if it feels comfortable, you can drop that left hand and pop it on your right hip. But wherever you find yourself, make sure you take some nice steady breaths. Finding those deep belly breaths. Relaxing through the muscles. And then coming back out of that position, however you feel best, you're gonna come back to that tabletop position. So I'll just give you a few moments to find yourself back in that neutral spine, nice straight back in your tabletop position. And then we're going to do exactly the same thing on the other side. So right hand stays exactly where it is on the floor. Make sure you're feeling steady. You're going to lift your left hand up off the mat or the floor. And then you're going to thread your left hand underneath your right armpit, all the way down, pressing it to the right hand side until your left shoulder reaches the mat or the floor. And then you thread that thread through the little needle hole that you created with your right arm. Again, if you want to raise your right arm up to 12 o'clock, you can. That will just increase the twist. Or you can pop it down on your left, uh, left hip, wherever it feels comfortable for you. Take four of those deep belly breaths. And then slowly, carefully coming back out, find your way back up to that tabletop position that we began with. Now from here, I want you to bring both of your big toes to meet. So you're touching both your big toes. And then if you feel that you can, you're gonna open the knees wide as the mat or as wide as feel comfortable for you. And then sit back down on your heels. So you're sitting back on your heels, keep your hands exactly where they are. So you should feel a nice stretch through the shoulders. You can drop the head. And then if you feel you can, you can walk those fingers away from you, allowing your forehead to come and meet the mat. This is called your um, baby pose, extended baby. So your arms are extended out at 12 o'clock, your forehead pressing into the mat, heels sitting, sitting down on your heels, nice wide hips. 
If you feel it's too painful for um, the hips and it's too wide, you can just draw your knees into centre and do exactly the same. So forehead to the mat, stretching those arms out in front of you. And this is a restorative pose, so it's a natural position where you will feel like you're feeling relaxed and restored. It's a bit like the fetal position where you'll curl up in a ball and you feel protected and safe in this position. So this is a really good relaxing position. Let's take a few breaths here. And then raise the gaze and come back up to that tabletop position. Slightly different variation here. Keeping your knees directly underneath your hips and your uh, knees at hip width apart, instead of having straight arms directly out from your shoulders down, so you're in a tabletop position, I want you to try and keep your knees exactly as they are, directly underneath your hips. So your hips don't shift forwards or backwards. Try and maintain them directly um, above your knees. So keep that back position and slowly walk your palms away from you. So you'll feel like you want to move and shift the hips forward, but try and keep them where they are. And then try and draw your chest down towards the floor as if you're melting your heart to the floor. So you're getting a nice deep stretch all the way through the arch of the back, drawing the forehead to the mat. And this is called your puppy pose or your heart melting pose. So you're melting your heart down towards the floor, hips and knees directly on top of each other. And again, find those deep belly breaths. If you feel any pinching sensations in the shoulders, the best trick is just to open the arms a little wider and that will give the shoulders a bit of space to draw the face and the chest down towards the floor. Two more breaths. And then slowly, slowly coming back out of your tabletop position. And we're going to come back to our seated positioning here. <clears throat> if you want to just find your way back onto the mat, we're going to sit this time with our feet directly out in front of us. So straight legs in front of you. If you're on a chair, the same thing will apply. So you're going to have your feet out in front of you. They can just relax out in front. I want you to sit up nice and tall and just really be conscious of your, your posture. So your sit bones are grounding in the floor. Press both the palms either side of your hips into the mat or the chair beneath you. And try and keep a really straight spine so your gaze is directly ahead. Try and picture that you've got a rod almost up your back, sitting up really nice and tall. It might feel a bit uncomfortable and you have to kind of engage your core, but find that breath. And then I want you to take both of your arms directly up ahead, so 12 o'clock, both of them, as if your arms are kissing your ears directly up ahead. Take a really beautiful inhale. On your exhale, I want you to fold, folding forwards. If you can catch the feet, that's great. Wherever you find yourself, you're forward folding, face to the hips, you're falling up towards the knees. And wherever you find yourself, just take a few breaths. Same if you're seated, just fold over yourself and reach towards your toes. It feels nice, you can drop the head, engage in that breath. And then slowly rising. And if you're coming with me, you're gonna bring up with it, bend your right leg. So you've got a really bent uh, right leg. Your knee can come up and just place your foot wherever you feel that it, it can naturally sit without tugging on the knee joints or anything uncomfortable. Same if you're seated, if you're able to lift your leg and draw it up towards your chest, we're gonna sit up nice and tall. And just get a little stretch through this right leg through the front of the thigh. 
And then bring your right arm, wherever it might be at the moment, on the inside edge of your right knee. And see if you can reach towards your left toes or towards your feet. So you've got a little tiny little twist here. And also you're going to be having a nice stretch through the extended straight left leg. Try and find your breath. Slowly rising, and then you're going to swap legs. So whether you're seated or not, see if you can draw your knee up towards your chest, sitting up nice and tall, and you've got your, your right leg now extended out in front of you. Bring your left arm on the inside edge of this left bent knee, and then see if you can reach towards your right toes. Or maybe you can hook a hold of the back of your shins. Half much flex into the ankle. You should feel that stretch all the way up the back of the leg. Have a nice breath. And then slowly rising. If it's accessible to you, I want you now to bend both legs, bringing the soles of your feet to keep together. So you've created like a butterfly effect here. The soles of your feet are pressing together. Your knees are falling naturally out towards the outer edges of the mat. And if you can reach a hold of your feet, you can insulate your hands around your toes and let your knees just drop out to the side. This is a butterfly pose, and you can kind of see why. You've got your two knees flopping out to either side. And just imagine that they're your wings, trying to maintain a nice straight spine. You can lift those knees up and then allow them to drop back down towards the floor. You're working into the hip flexors here. So you lift the knees on an inhale, and as you exhale, draw those knees down towards the floor. Let's just do a few more of these. Inhale, draw those knees up. And as you exhale, draw them down. See if each time you can just press a little further towards the floor. Inhale, draw them up. Exhale, drawing them down towards the floor. Last one, inhale, draw them up. Exhale, draw them down towards the floor. And then the next part is we're slowly rolling down towards our relaxation. So obviously if you're seated and you're unable to lie down, and just be relaxing in the position that you're able to. Otherwise, we're going to roll down onto our back completely flat. We keep our knees bent and the soles of our feet on the floor. <clears throat> I'll give you a few minutes to find yourself onto the mat. But both knees are pressed together. Soles of the feet are flat to the floor, and I want you to allow your hands, palm facing down, to rest on the mat either side of your hips. Slowly walk your heels towards your bottom, so your knees are nice and upright. And on an inhale, allow both those knees, hugging still, to fall naturally to the left-hand side, so towards the floor. And then open up your arms, either side of you, palms facing up, like airplane wings coming out to the side. And then take your gaze over your right shoulder. So you're gonna be looking over the opposite shoulder in the direction, opposite direction of your knees. So this is a, a supine twist, so it's a relaxed twist. Doesn't require too much effort. And take a few breaths. And then draw those knees both up to center and allow them drop together to the right hand side. So if they don't reach the floor, don't worry, just let them drop naturally to the right hand side. And then swap your gaze over your left shoulder. So you're, from the tip of your nose to your knees, you've created a little S shape. 
Allow that breath to soften. And relax. And draw both those knees up to center. If you can, give them a big hug. Wrap your arms around both your knees and then draw them down towards your chest. Pressing the lumbar spine, the lower part of your back into the mat or the floor beneath you. And take a few breaths. And then just relax off both those legs, stepping out the right leg all the way to the edge of the mat or to the floor. So you're nice and flat now on the mat. Allow your palms to face up and allow your hands to come either side of your hips. We're just gonna relax here in Shavasana or relaxation as we call it. So allow every part of your body to soften. Let the ankles relax, maybe the feet wanna to curl to the outer edges. Let any tension in your shins and your calves relax. Let your thighs relax, hips relax. Take a deep inhale, soften the abdomen and allow a deep exhale. Get your shoulders relax, come away from the ears. If you're clenching your jaw or there's any tension in the face, just let that all relax. And come back to that breath that we began with. So you're inhaling for four as deep as you can. Hold the breath. And then exhale for six. One more, inhale. And exhale. And then draw your knees up, rolling onto your left hand side. If you join me for Shavasana, and slowly find your way back up to seated. You can come back up to seated, cross legged, or wherever feels comfortable. And we'll end our practice here. From me, namaste. Thank you for joining me today. Um, over to you. Wow. Beautiful stretches there. I'm certainly making notes there. Thank you very much, uh, Synergy, um, for joining us on our Facebook Live event. We've had quite a lot of good comments coming through, um, amazing stretches, wonderful moves. So it's, it's been really, really good. Um, so um, everybody, please do hold on tight. Uh, we will be switching over shortly to wrap up this session. But thank you once again, uh, Synergy, uh, for all your, your efforts and stretching today. Thank you. Be right back.
Can we all hear me? Can we all hear me? Yeah? So I'll just repeat what I was saying again, just in case if the audio wasn't on. Oh, so um, thank you again for your participation. Thank you for tuning in live and watching. Uh, we had a lot of comments when Ketan was on, so just want to read over some of those. Um, so thank you so much, Ketan. We had thank you, very informative, very helpful, um, absolutely um, fantastic. Lots of love all round. Um, can we? Can you hear me? Just getting a bit of feedback. Sorry that. Okay, we all good. All right, brilliant. So, yes, great session with Ketan again. And Synergy, we've had a lot of comments coming in. Love the breathing exercise, really relaxing. Um, I had a comment come through saying that the, the, it's, it's good to do these exercises on a chair if you can, um, but the floor um, is also quite useful for, for one of the um, individuals who was watching the video as well. Um, and lots of exciting comments saying they, they really enjoyed the session so I'm very happy that you enjoyed it um, next week Thursday the 25th of June uh, we will be here again at 1pm with Aisha in the kitchen uh, she will be making salad using uh, fruits and, and vegetables so that's going to be really interesting um, and afterwards we'll have Jennifer um, who will be live with us uh, she's going to be talking about employment and the route to work. Okay, uh, a little update with our Facebook Live events. So from July, our Facebook Live events will be streaming from 4 p.m. onwards. Okay, so that's our Facebook Live events will be streaming from 4 p.m. onwards from July. Um, and just want to finish off with a little something um, that's quite important to, to many. Um, and that's the current situation, the Black Lives Matter. Um, I'm sure most of you have heard of it or are aware of it. Um, we have mentioned uh, briefly um, the, the situation in our newsletter and, and as a, a, an organisation we want to see how we can contribute or add uh, to this situation um, and, and make it uh, more positive. So we, we had a discussion with um, a few of the staff members here at Coin Vision we shared some ideas, um, shared our experiences. I mean, me personally, um, growing up as a, a black lady, going to school, going to college, um, I haven't had much racial prejudice, but I know that out there, that there, there's a lot. And I know that a lot of people can relate to what's going on right now. Um, but we want to, as an organization, uh, contribute to the cause. And we open up um, any ideas, um, any thoughts that you may have uh, to, to support us on the journey that we're, we're looking to pursue. Um, so please do get in touch with us if you have any thoughts, any ideas. If you feel to, to share a story, we, we are open and, and willing to listen to you. Um, but thank you again for tuning in on our Facebook Live event. And we shall see you next week, Thursday at 1pm. Take care.